Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for April of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So a uh, quick infomercial. Um, I have a book out, my project, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, My Journey in the Classroom as an Empath and a Teacher. It is about my time as a preschool and a K-12 teacher, and it's about how I got through that turbulent time in my life. It's a page turn and read. I hope you guys will consider purchasing it and supporting your girl. Uh, if you like to read or know someone who likes to read, please recommend the book. Uh, give the book a good review. Um, it's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books Million, wherever books are sold, you can order it. And uh, I will have a link listed below in the description box, and thank you in advance, okay? So let's get into the read, okay? So as I split the deck, we have the King of Wands and the Lovers, okay? So Divine Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, guys, take only what resonates with you. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? But if it does apply... Consider liking the video, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a member of our soul tribe, okay? All right. All right. We have the Three of Swords. Ouch. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Hermit. The Chariot. The Five of Swords. The Two of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, look. Four of Pentacles. Y'all moving forward, but you're scared. This is in different avenues. It could be love for some. It could be in business for some. It could be in a, a platonic relationship. It's like you've been burned in the past and you're scared uh, of being hurt by someone the way you were hurt by them in the past. It could be being overworked at a job, being ridiculed on a job being cheated on in a relationship, being um, seen as the black sheep of your family. Take it how it resonates for you. I feel like you were tired of being like on a seesaw, two of pentacles with a job, with your family, with a love relationship that didn't work out. I feel like some of y'all really disconnected and threw up the deuces and said, I'm out, chill, I'm gone, and you left. You went into hermit mode for some of y'all. I feel like, you were trying to figure out some things about why certain things were unraveling in your life and you had to do this so you could move forward. I feel like with the chariot, you're a little bit more balanced now in your energy, but you still have these moments of trying to figure out why certain things happen. Sometimes you can find it out and figure it out and spirit will give you a hint. Sometimes you may never know, know why certain relationships, whether they be platonic, romantic, business, career worked out the way they worked out but guess what you're going to have a new opportunity with the two of cups here for a new business a new uh, love relationship take it how it resonates for some of y'all it's a um finding new family members where the hell did that come from but okay um i feel like for some of y'all though your focus is getting into a business business partnership and i say that because you have the nine of pentacles right here um a lot of y'all are literally chunking the deuces up to love and you're trying to move forward in business pursuits, business endeavors. Nine of Pentacles, page, page of Wands. For some of y'all, y'all might be traveling overseas to um, present some type of deal or finish or uh, finalize a deal that you were working uh, with someone. And uh, you're going to have to have your shrewd businessman, businesswoman hat on with the Queen of Swords. You're going to have to move strategically. Um in all your dealings, for some of y'all, business dealing, relationships, dare I say it, for some of y'all, if you're planning on to get married, if you live in a country or a state where prenups are legal, you about need to get one, okay, I'm just saying, uh, contact your lawyer, constable, or whoever, and wherever you are does the prenups, so you can get that taken care of, because I feel like somebody got some energy of, your, you have a bit of anxiety about uh, moving forward in a relationship whether it be business or romantic and I, whatever this is I feel like you 
somebody might have been burned in the past by a bad divorce or breakup and you lost some type of money or part of a business dare I say and you need to protect yourself I don't know why I got that from the queen of swords but that's what I was picking up on but I feel like y'all still have the faith in relationships regardless if it's business or romantic but you this time this go around you're going into things with your eyes open yes you're excited page of wands but you're not going to ignore the red uh, flags or the warning signs like you did in previous uh instances okay whatever that means for y'all okay i'm just saying um but yeah y'all y'all gonna be like okay you're gonna cut who you need to cut let it go if you need to let it go and you're gonna move forward you're gonna protect yourself at all costs i'm just saying because whatever that three of swords uh moment was for you you don't want to go through that again so you're going to be very shrewd very queen of swords king of swords energy being um not being cold but seeing things as a business this time around maybe that was a marriage you were in that sour or some type of relationship and you're not going to go through that again okay so that's why i said somebody's trying to get a prenup but you're not you're not letting what you went through not trying to make it a uh, love relationship scar you but you're not going to be naive either so it says in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love okay that's what i said okay uh what else spirit damn that jumped out when i think i surrendered i surrender more okay some type of negotiation you're going through with somebody and it's, it's getting rough I honor what I want to feel. Stop being cold and closed off. Tell somebody how you really feel about something. I'm just saying. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. Again, I choose love. Y'all. Okay. Somebody got love on the brain. I do whatever it takes to get closure. Well, maybe you are doing whatever it takes to get closure. Or your lawyer is. Anywho, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness, okay? So, some of y'all are pursuing conscious endeavors, uh, working on yourself, healing yourself so you can move forward in your lives, okay? Wow, that was a strange one, but whatever. Take what resonates for you, leave the rest for someone else. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.